here we are taking up another question and uh, in this question it is given that if the roots of equation x square plus 2cx plus ab equals to 0 are real and unequal prove that the given equation the other equation has no real roots so that means certain conditions are to be met in the first given information basis that you have to prove the second part of the question correct so the moment you see these words real and unequal what should come in your mind it should it is that that whenever there are you know real and unequal roots to a given quadratic equation so quadratic equation being x square 2cx plus ab equals 0 correct and uh, and we know that if there is a given quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 then d must be greater than 0 for real and unequal roots isn't it so this is what we have learned so and what is d guys d is nothing but b square minus 4ac now this b a and c uh, all of them are in context of this equation so a is nothing but the coefficient of x square b is coefficient of x and c is the constant term so using the same principle here now don't get confused with whatever i have mentioned here as a b and c and whatever is given in this question the meaning of a b and c here is simply coefficient of x square coefficient of x and constant term respectively so we will deal with only those terms here as well so if i write the discriminant of this given equation what will it be it is nothing but b square which is 4 c square if you see b square is 4 c square why let me you know write one more step so t 2 2 c square is b square here 2 c square is coefficient of x here correct so 2c whole square minus 4 times coefficient of x square that is 1 multiplied by constant term that is ab and this has been given as this must be in fact this is the d and for this case since it is given that the roots are real and unequal so this must be greater than 0 correct so for from this equation in equation basically we get 4c square minus 4ab is greater than 0 now in, if there is an inequality if you divide the inequality by a constant term the inequality a constant positive term the inequality doesn't change so what i'm saying is i'm writing here so dividing 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 inequality by positive quantity doesn't impact the inequality what does it mean if you divide by a negative quantity then inequality will just change its character so hence here if you divide it by let's say minus one if you divide this entire inequality by minus one then this greater than equal to sign will become less than equal to but if you are dividing by positive quantity then the inequality doesn't change so hence i can cancel four out and i'll get c square minus ab is greater than zero so this particular information I have now, c square minus ab is greater than 0. Okay. Now let us take, let us see what is the discriminant value of the second question. So let us say this was d1, discriminant of the first. And let us find out d2, discriminant of the second equation. Again, if you see here, what will it be? Minus 2a plus b whole squared. See, isn't it? This is my b in the second second equation next minus 4 times a which is 1 again and c which is a square plus b square plus 2 c square so what is this quantity what is this quantity let us simplify further so it will be 4 again minus 2 square is 4 and a plus b whole square and this will be minus 4 and a square plus b square plus 2 c square now let us take 4 common then what will happen you will get a square plus b square plus twice ab isn't it because a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus twice ab and this is minus a square minus b square and minus 2c square so i took 4 common so hence what is left behind a square b square 2ab and since here it will be minus 1 so because of that it is minus a square minus b square minus 2 square 2c square let's simplify further 
so this a square this a square will go this b square b square will go so what is left is 2 sorry 2 a b minus 2 c square isn't it? and then you can see i can take one more two common so 4 into 2 and this becomes a b minus c square so it is 8 times a b minus c square now guys let us say this is 1 from 1 you can say from 1 we know that c square minus a b is greater than 0 okay so if you take these two terms on the right hand side what will you get 0 is greater than minus c square plus a b you'll change the sign when you take it to the next other side or you can say uh, a b minus c square is less than 0 a b minus c square is less than 0 and that's exactly what it is required right so hence a b minus c square is less than 0 then 8 times a b minus c square is also less than 0 and if you see guys these were all all these terms were d2 here equal to d2 isn't it so hence if you check this 8 a b minus c square is 8 a b minus c square which is nothing but d2 so d2 is less than 0 proved hence hence roots of or roots of the given quadratic equation roots of the equation are non real okay that's what it was asked to prove and hence we proved and what is the basis of the proof we could find out the discriminant value of the given equation in question and we could prove using the given information from the first equation that the discriminant of the second equation is less than zero hence the result that's how you have to work it out so in any mathematics question what is given information try to extract some information from that given uh, information and then always keep in mind what is the you know final um, achieve or let's say to be achieved goal and you try to bridge those two pieces of information and you get the result